Welcome to this course on transition metal organometallics in catalysis and biology. We have been uh, talking about ring closing metathesis. Uh, ring closing met metathesis reactions uh, are uh, in principle exactly opposite that, uh, to that of ring opening metathesis reactions. And uh, in this context, uh, we were uh, sort of comparing uh, all the uh, specific uh, attributes of ring closing metathesis with that of ring opening metathesis. Now, uh, while drawing the comparison between a ring opening metathesis and ring closing metathesis, uh, one sort of uh, uh, finds out that for ring opening metathesis, uh, the release of uh, ring strain in the substrate is a key a factor that guides the reaction forward towards ring opening metathesis. On the other hand, uh, uh, in ring closing metathesis, uh, it is exactly the opposite in the sense that uh, the rings uh, are formed, but these rings uh, need not be a under uh, strain uh, because uh, these rings are usually large uh, macrocyclic rings and hence uh, the strain issue which had been the guided factor uh, for ring opening metathesis does not arise in uh, uh, ring closing metathesis despite the formation of uh, uh, rings is because of the fact that these rings are usually large uh, uh, macrocycles and hence uh, uh, they are not small rings uh, uh, as a result their strain is also uh, too less. So, uh, in this uh, connection we are going to start more uh, <coughs> discussing about the uh, ring closing uh, uh, metathesis uh, uh, particularly uh, from the uh, perspective of the mechanism for ring closing uh, metathesis. this uh, substrates it is a diene which uh, reacts with the active species which is a metal carbene complex to form this metallocyclobutane intermediate and this is formed by the approach of this with MCH2 Uh, leading to uh, this uh, metallocyclobutane intermediate that then results in the metal carbene ring along with the formation of ethylene. and that is formed Uh, 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 formed uh, from this metallocyclobutane to give this product and then this further undergoes another metathesis reaction <coughs> to give this 
intermediate bicyclic intermediate and that in general would give back cyclopentene uh, with metal carbene species. So, the active species is thus regenerated and in the course uh, the cyclopentene is formed and that is driven by the easy removal of ethylene. derives drives the reaction. So, this ethylene which is uh, formed it drives the reaction forward. So, we are going to oh, take a look at some more applications in terms of examples that have been used for demonstrating the power of ring closing metathesis. examples. And, and this uh, method is useful for synthesizing nitrogen based heterocycles and natural products. very useful for synthesizing N heterocycles and natural products. And this is shown by this interesting example this in presence of Grubbs catalyst <coughs> eliminates ethylene uh, which uh, obviously is the driving force for the reaction to give this bicyclic compound. And that can be, <coughs> this was prepared in 59 percent yield and that can be used for synthesizing this natural product, complex natural product as is shown over here.
and this was reported by Grubbs in 1995. The other examples of ring closing metathesis involves C2 symmetric ketals as in the one shown here. Examples involving vinyl C2 symmetric ketal this is the 2 C2 symmetry of the vinyl group So, this is cis vinyl C2 ketal that undergoing ring closing metathesis as is shown over here. to give between these two olefins to give giving this product and So, this undergoes the ring closing metathesis the final product for this is is as shown here and this undergoes uh, a several type of rearrangements
and this finally gets in there. Another example of ring closing metathesis is discussed here. So, this is in this complex substrate nitrogen O CO CF3 OS. T B D M and this undergoes <coughs> ring closing metathesis resulting in between these two olefin resulting in CO N this five member ring O S T B D M and this uh, uh, is a <coughs> diastereoselective selective metathesis reaction and here we see that uh, the uh, the two olefins undergoes ring closing uh, uh, using uh, these two olefinic uh, bond. The other examples, we continue to uh, give various examples of ring closing metathesis. Uh, the next example involves CN examples. The next example involves this silyl ether This silyl ether <coughs> that undergoes inter intramolecular ring closing metathesis between the olefins this leading to the formation of cyclic siloxanes as is shown over here so the product is a cyclic siloxane and uh, this is also another example of diastereoselective metathesis reaction.
we continue to look at a few more examples of metathesis. And this one involves a triene derivative a triene derivative as is shown over here OTBS a triene derivative that undergoes metathesis, intermolecular metathesis between the olefin shown over here to produce a six membered ring as is shown over here. TMSO OTDS and these provide now uh, this is a trying and only a, a six membered ring which is favorable or ring closing metathesis of that uh, ring uh, occurs. So, uh, this ring closing metathesis is not restricted uh, uh, to uh, uh, simple olefins, but also can be applied to phosphonates. We are going to take a look at some of the examples of phosphonates. This is alkene containing phosphonate that reacts to give this compound as is shown over here again a six member ring and that is formed from these two olefin giving rise to this six member ring and the other possibility of metathesis with a PO bond as is shown over here uh, that leading to the product
this is not observed. So, what we see is that there exists a selectivity in undergoing ring closing metathesis with a carbon carbon bond as opposed to undergoing with a PO bond. Another example of selectivity of ring closing metathesis is illustrated uh, in this example to be discussed now. This is seen observed in this platinum complex chloride C6 F5 P pH as is shown here P pH shown here Now, this is called bis remote alkanyl alkanyl phosphino complex the name remote alkanyl refers to the alkene ring in the remote end and what is observed was observed is the metathesis reaction between these olefins which are on the opposite side of the ligand resulting in the complex PT Cl C 6 F 5 P P H P P H which is connected connecting the two phosphine ligands and that happens between uh, the RCM of this and then what is observed is chelating phosphine metal complex. And the other possibility of these two olefin reacting with each other, these two olefin reacting to each other to give the uh, product F5 P P8. P P H to give this product does not not observed cyclic phosphine
metal complex. So, what we see is what we see is the rings which are more macro cyclic in nature as is shown over here that is formed as opposed to the one which is slightly less microcyclic and hence this may be probably because of less ring strain involved in forming larger macrocycles. So, with this uh, we come to the uh, end of today's discussion on ring closing metathesis. Uh, what we have seen is that this ring closing metathesis is a powerful tool for uh, preparing macrocycles uh, 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 which are large and also this can be used in a diastereoselective uh, fashion for preparing various kinds of uh, n-heterocycles. Uh, and some of them can also be uh, taken uh, towards uh, total synthesis of useful uh, natural products. So, uh, with this we come to an end of today's discussion on RCM more uh, uh, as we meet when we uh, take up RCM in the next lecture uh, look at various in, uh, nitty gritty details about applications of uh, ring closing uh, metathesis. So, I once again take the opportunity to thank you for uh, being with me in this class and I will very much look forward to uh, discussing uh, uh, more on RCM when we meet next. Uh, till then goodbye and thank you.